Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do horizontal analysis on a balance sheet. So I've pulled up the Apple's financial statements. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching financial analysis here in this series, so check out the playlist. So Apple's financial statements here, and they're, here's their balance sheet. And so what we have on horizontal analysis, we're just trying to figure out the change from year to year. So you need to have a beginning year and an ending year. So like the current year and the previous year. So we're going to take the formula. We're going to take the end, the ending minus the beginning, close the parentheses, divided by the beginning number, which is the 23,000. So what we're saying is that cash and cash equivalents, so that's the cash number, goes up <clears throat> about 26.7%. So we want to investigate, you know, why this goes up. So we want to look at the big numbers here. And so maybe numbers above 10%. And what we can do, we can do for this, all of the assets, we can do the same thing. And so we'll see that for the assets, some assets go up, some assets go down. And so one way to kind of investigate this is to maybe do conditional formatting. So let's highlight the entire column. On the home ribbon, let's collect, uh, select conditional formatting and then color scales. Let's select the one that has uh, green, white, and red. So if it's really dark green, it's a large positive number. And if it's uh, dark red, it's large negative number here, a percent. So we can kind of investigate, is this what we expected to happen? Um, what caused this? So on. Now we can do the same thing for the liabilities and stockholders equity. So let me grab a number here and let's copy it. So here we have uh, 2.3 and I think if we copy it all the way down. It will maintain the conditional formatting so we can see how this works. So now we have um, a large negative 93 and that makes the negative 40 a slightly faded red or a pink. And so you can see here, horizontal analysis just looks at every individual account and de uh, determines does it go up by percentage or down by percentage. And we'd look at the large ones. So accumulated deficit, probably not a problem. It went down 93%. But our stockholders equity went up 22.6%. So this is how you do horizontal analysis and you investigate the larger numbers. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.